Voting for the Student Union 2017 elections takes place this week on the 21st to the 23rd of March. I sat down with three out of the four candidates hoping to take Cody Byrne's position as VP of Welfare and Equality next year. I know we all have a lot of stress with college, work, girlfriend, boyfriend, everything. So I thought the very time taking stripping that all back, going back to like your childhood roots. So physical health does impact your mental health and I thought it's a good way to relax and de stressing while also getting fit. Yeah, okay. And um another thing obviously as welfare officer mm -hmm. shag week and shift week are huge and you mentioned in your manifesto that you'd like to run more kind of workshops towards the um sexual health in a relationship. Yeah. Would that be kind of more advice centred or health centred or what's your idea to it's go with that? It's actually going to be both because I've noticed there's been a severe lack because a lot of people are in relationships and being a severe lack of like relationship classes so it'd help people like know what to do in a relationship if maybe trying to be the best partner to their partner in a relationship. Also knowing signs of abuse and like how to know that you're in a dangerous relationship and also having like health classes. I know a lot of people think that if they're in a long-term relationship they can like forego the condoms or the, the pill. Like, it's just trying to teach them that these things are still important in a relationship. And then do you want to tell me from your manifesto what's unique about your ideas with regards to mental health next year? Um, I thought Cody's idea was pretty solid so I kind of built on that. Um, in terms of, I think I have more casual events rather than have big things. So I have also the Feel Good Friday, it was there. So that's kind of a monthly event where we can just relax and watch a film. I also have a monthly seminar which I've not seen anyone do. Mm -hmm. I'll have an expert from the field, say a, a doctor who knows about schizophrenia or PTSD to talk to like a huge class and kind of inform them about the disease biologically and how it affects people on a societal level and also have them like um, break down like stigmas and like stereotypes about that disease and raise awareness and tell people how to approach people with these diseases because people might have them and not want to approach people with it. So I thought to remove all that stigma and have someone who actually knows about the disease to talk to them about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, another thing you mentioned as well was consent classes, yes. which is something that a lot of people um, are not okay with. They think that mm. that um, you know we're university students, we don't need them. I gather that's not your opinion. No. Um, consent classes is something I wasn't very sure because um, I know a lot of people think we don't need them, especially um, more men who think we don't need them than women. But we all know that um, is it one in four women will have some kind of sexual abuse mm. in their lifetime. So obviously, being a student, we do tend to go out more and help more at risk which is of no fault of our own so these are things that do need to be said for sure okay thanks for talking to us today thank you. thank you two big things in your manifesto was the idea of fines so you talked about library fines and accommodation yeah. fines so talk me through like the problems you think you should address if you were welfare officer with them now i do understand during the downtime library fines are key especially for like when you have short-term loans especially because the books are in such high demand and you can't take them out of the library but off peak when people are using these books and they're getting fined so much I think can be quite difficult, especially if you don't live on campus, to come in and drop the book back. And even, we'd say, if you do live on campus and you went out on Friday and like you were late, there still is like a drop box, but that you're still being fine for the time that that's not in. Like from the manifesto, if you ask the library, you ring up and say, look, I'm going to be a little bit late, and give them a reason. And then when you drop the book back, they can assess it and maybe reduce the fine as well. Because as students, they don't have that much money. And like I said, exam time, that's fine, like, it's key, but off peak when the books aren't such high demand, there shouldn't be such a need on like, such fines for students. Okay, um, another unique aspect of your manifesto was the idea of introducing a buddy system, much mm. like a lot of us had in secondary school. So briefly talk me through how you think that would work, especially taking in our age group that we are in, if mm. you were to introduce that in. But the buddy system, I got inspiration from the UCB as well. Um, they do a thing for international students. And students from ECU who went abroad and come back can sign up for a buddy system. So students who are international come to DCU can mm -hmm. get little groups. Um, and obviously the people who've been in Erasmus can sign up for this. And they get little groups of um, six. And they're in a group for the year. Well, not for the year, but like at the start, they kind of integrate with each other. So that means students from Ireland who were abroad and know what it's like to go to a new city can help these students who come abroad. But I'd also like to integrate it with maybe like first years and stuff like that. Because I do understand that like the student ambassadors do tours and that is so helpful. But if you had students who sign up, it makes it a little part more personal. You know, you're not an ambassador. This is what you have to do. You, know, you sign up to this. You, know, you want to integrate new students into the ECU. Um, big part of welfare obviously would be concentrating the people and also would be sexual health. You know, I think um, consent is a huge issue in the ECU and it has to be um, addressed even more. 
after Cody some of the players and Joe John this year and I start to work on that. Mental health is a huge one person to me. I've dealt with mental health myself before and I've known people who dealt with severe mental health. So I'd like to kind of bring in, like I said, with the um give it a go week in the first year it's um, sorry, the first semester with clinical and socks officers with clinical socks officers and obviously you give clinical sides a bit but I'd like to bring in a health gas back to that as well for the first week. So you know sleep pattern courses and and eating well health courses and like looking after yourself kind of talks in order to you know benefit your physical health but again your mental health. And then bring in talks and people in order to identify how to identify sorry talks in order to people to identify um, and then help you in their friends or themselves and kind of broaden their knowledge of what it's like to have and also deal with a mental health in DC. Okay, good. Thanks for talking to us today. Thank you. One of the things you mentioned in your manifesto was unique to yours was introducing a Humans of DCU campaign. So talk me yeah. through what that's all about. What I've based my manifesto on is what I've seen. I want to use this as a way to highlight the issues, first of all, that are most important to students, but also it's a good way for me to know what they want to see being done. And I'd love to see it, if I were to get in, I'd love to see it being used throughout the year just so that people share their experiences with different social issues, particularly like mental health, different stories like that. That could really help other students see, you know, they're not alone. Every, you know, there's a lot of people in college that go through the same issues. Yeah. And then one issue that's actually important to you because you study teaching yeah. is um, accessibility for events and everything for people on placement. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Like, it would be such a stressful time. Like, you can see me. I ran in here with my bags being like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but like I think it's really important that there's stuff put on in the evening times that the people that I'm placing like you know not just the teachers but the nurses anyone else you know they have to be able to access stuff so definitely putting things on the evening even if it's something like you know meditation yoga something like that that's really good for while you're on placing to take time out for yourself and just chill and relax and you know yeah yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of meditation and yoga if you were elected like Sexual health and uh, mm. mental health is important as well for our yeah, And absolutely. you also mentioned spiritual health. Yeah. So what do you mean by that? We've done a lot about that this in college actually with the children. So on that level, it's a lot of you know mindfulness and the importance of having stillness in your day. You know, just just for people to chill out and be able to center themselves. Really, is the most important thing. Okay, and then what would you also do um, to deal with sexual health and mental health as? Position. I would love to look at it. It's very controversial at the moment. I know there is a lot of controversy and it's being brought into other colleges. I'd love to bring in consent classes. I think it's really important. Like in all colleges, I'm not singling out anyone, but like obviously, you know, with a college that's so big, there's obviously going to be issues somewhere. You know, it's not everyone, obviously, but you know, it's good to be informed and even not for even not for yourself, if you see a friend in trouble, to know what to do. You know, and like to know how to approach friend, even if you see a friend doing something that you're not entirely comfortable with to someone else, to know how to deal with all those things. It's a lot of over, like across the board, what you do in different situations. Okay, great. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah, no bother. Thanks very much. Michelle Martin for DCU TV News.